Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm about to wash my El Camino and I figured, well, why wouldn't I give you guys a demo of the brand new DeWalt pressure washer deal that I have sitting right behind me? Uh, I'll give you a little demo and walk around of that as I get this thing ready to wash. So what I've already done to not waste time is I put three and a half gallons of water in this three and a half gallon bucket. Let me turn you around. And this is the DeWalt 20 volt pressure washer. It comes with three nozzles, 40 degree, 25 and 15. It comes with this hose, which looks to be about 15 feet. It's got a filter on the end, a float so that your siphon hose goes to the bottom of the bucket. This is not assembled which means all you got to do is screw that onto the body here and then this is a quick disconnect or quick connect uh, from the hose there um, I have a five amp hour battery in this thing you just literally pop the back off put a battery in there uh, it will hold a uh, much bigger battery if if those are what you use. I personally don't use um, bigger than the five amp hour. I literally have 15 of them and that's what I use for all my DeWalt tools. But this is supposed to be, I believe 500 PSI or 550. This is the uh, DCP W550. So it's 550 PSI. Uh, it says so right there. One gallon per minute. 550 PSI cold water only so without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get you put on the tripod here and we'll go from there um, this unit also does come with that foam cannon let me tell you that it is absolutely garbage it does not even foam or froth anything up it doesn't do anything but just spit out a bunch of soapy water basically it doesn't froth up it doesn't suds up none of that it's horribly worthless in fact i'm not even going to bother with it it's so bad uh, but we're going to get you put up here on the tripod and uh, once i get you set up there i'm going to give you some action shots of this bad boy all right well here we go we got our water we got a full battery and here we go let's test her out here we go All right, it's definitely not a lot of pressure, um, but it also doesn't put out a lot of water. When it comes to pressure washers per se, they have their gallons per minute rating. So this one is one gallon of water, it will flow per minute. So um, if I let the trigger on, if I held it for three and a half minutes, it should take away all the water in this bucket. Um, I measured out three and a half gallons of water. Um, I have already used around a half of a gallon. Let's just continue to go around and see how much is left out of that when I'm done with the pre-rinse.
got to watch the hose getting pinched. But other than that, it seems pretty easy to get, get everything covered and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to continue to walk around the car. You gotta constantly move your operation around, it seems. We're down to probably two gallons left of water, which is not a big deal. Pretty, pretty cool if you ask me. Keep, keep tapping and my line keeps getting twisted up as you move. This is that really high-end PVC hose, but it's still likes to flop around a bit. See the, uh, that's gonna be a little problem. The deal fell out of the bucket. now all right I would say if I had to guesstimate how much water is left in here I would say there's about a gallon and a half left let me show you there's about a left of water in the bucket I got a little bit of debris in there but a gallon and a half worth of water left um, this is deionized water I use all Florida water that's the uh, deionized water that I use so I pre soaked or I should say pre rinsed with the deionized water and I guesstimate I used about two gallons of water so two gallons for the pre-rinse um, and we'll say two gallons for the final rinse I bet you you could do a car on a five gallon bucket of water wheels and all I think it's gonna take about five gallons of water to do a whole car with this thing now if you're used to high pressure this is not going to give you high pressure um, if you guys remember my Inca, Eco Rinse Machine from a few years ago, uh, myself and AR North America, the pressure washer company, we built a pressure washer that I called the Eco Rinse Machine. That was completely electric. You needed to run a generator on it. Um, but it was very low amperage draw, so even a 2,000 watt inverter or even a 1,000 watt inverter would work fine. Um, this thing's battery operated. Uh, it was also one gallon per minute uh, of flow, the Eco Rinse Machine was. So that's exactly the same as we have here. The only difference is this is about half the pressure. We had about 1100 PSI of pressure with the Eco Rinse Machine. So we got half that amount right here at 55 um, or 550 PSI. So you're not getting the same amount of pressure, but you are getting the same amount of flow, which is good. So I, I can see this being incredibly useful for uh, wheel cleaning, uh, where rinseless is a little bit difficult sometimes with the added brake dust and that kind of thing uh, to get uh, wheels clean. Uh, and I feel like with rinseless, it totally can be done. I clean wheels with rinseless all the time. And I, I don't know that I will even stop doing that, but I have a couple of clients with BMWs and Mercedes that are just horrible with brake dust. And I feel like this 
allowing me to do a pre-rinse of the bulk of that brake dust is going to save me a lot of time. In fact, uh, I could also go ahead and just wash with regular soap and water if I wanted to uh, the wheels and then just spray them off with deionized water. Now, we're all, nobody wants to be, have to haul around water uh, in a big way. Nobody wants a big water tank. Nobody wants to have a big van, none of that. So if you can wash a car with this with five gallons of water and you carry around 12 gallons, 15 gallons of water, which is not a lot, but it's plenty if you're rinseless washing, because I use about a gallon of water per car from rinseless washing. So uh, with this, you're going to use five gallons of water per car, which is still pretty eco-friendly compared to using a hose or whatever else you would use. Uh, but that's kind of where we're at. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get another bucket set up so that I can finish this wash. Uh, so we're going to see, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fill this bucket back up. Uh, so it'll have three and a half gallons of water in it. We've already used, um, like I said, two gallons of water. If I had to guesstimate, you see that again. Um, there's probably a gallon and a half of water left in there, if I had to guess. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill this back up with deionized water. Uh, I'm also gonna get a wash bucket and put a gallon of water in it and multiple microfiber towels. So we're gonna do the Gary Dean wash method traditional way, but with this thing as the lube, if you will. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up. We'll be right back. All right, we're back and I have everything I need to get this party started. So I have some Evo shampoo from the Infinite lineup at detailjuice.com. It's a great shampoo, awesome suds, but it has some super high-end acrylic in it that leaves awesome slickness, gloss, and it protects the car for around about two, three months, depending on your the elements and what's happening. Uh, so solid protection in here, good maintenance for any of the infinite lineup stuff. Um, I have multiple micro microfiber tiles I'll be putting in the bucket. Um, what I've done is I put one gallon in the wash bucket and I filled the other bucket back up to the three and a half gallon mark. So total right here, uh, we have four and a half gallons of water. We've already used two gallons on the pre-rinse, if you remember. So what I'm going to do is, and I know you can't see the bucket, but I will move it so you can. So this is the wash bucket. I'm just going to put an ounce of Evo shampoo in the bucket. Then I'm going to put my, my uh, towels in the bucket because we're going to do the Gary Dean wash method, but with a... Uh, traditional wash. So we did the pre-rinse. We got the towels in the bucket with the soap. And so now got to wait for it to siphon back up. There we go. Awesome suds. I'm going to just give it a quick just a quick mist. All right, so one towel, here we go. All right, I don't know if I y'all want to sit through all this but it is what it is so discard that towel go for another one all right so got that part washed and as you can see it's pretty hot out here today All right, 
and we keep on trucking. All right, guys, I have completed the El Camino. And so now it's time to talk about how much water I used when I washed this thing. So let's do that. Okay, so I put a gallon of water in the wash bucket. Um, I also put in some wheel towels in there so that I could use the rest of the water for the wheels, which is what happened. Um, I've probably got a little over a gallon left of rinse water. So we started with three and a half gallons. We used two gallons of that, and then I filled it up with water. So then we started with another three and a half gallons. We've got a, a gallon left. So I would say two and a half plus the two is what we used there. Uh, two and a half and two is four and a half plus another gallon is five and a half. So I would say between six and eight gallons you could do pretty much any size vehicle so i used five and a half gallons of water to do my el camino i bet you it would take about eight gallons of water to do the van and probably around six just like the el camino to do uh this uh camaro or the lexus i mean th this size car i would say six gallons is realistic um I wouldn't I wouldn't trade my rinse list for this to be perfectly honest with you uh, This is just to be able to do wheels better for me um, If I was in a pinch and I had to do a traditional wash, which is generally never the case uh, If I pulled up to a job where sand was all over the car I would most likely pull this thing out and give it a good rinse uh, prior to doing a rinseless wash, but you know, so this is awesome for just doing random rinses um, also for rinsing and cleaning wheels, it's awesome for that. Uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it in for my uh, rinseless wash any day. Uh, but it's a great tool to have. So if you want to add something like this to your arsenal, you can definitely do that. I bought mine at Home Depot. Um, they are just now getting the stores. This one is the one without the battery. Well, it has the battery, but I had a bunch. So I did not get the one with the battery and the charger, which I believe is $200. This one was just the tool. It came with the hose and uh, the nozzles with no battery and no charger for $150. Uh, so I like it. I think it's a great thing to add to your arsenal. Uh, the foam cannon right there is absolutely garbage. I didn't even bother with a demo with that. It literally just it's like diarrhea of regular soap so that's where we're at so there's a, another look at the unit again it's the dcpw 550 power cleaner from dewalt uh, just to recap the specs it's 550 psi one gallon per minute cold water only so the tool only kit comes with everything you see here the hose the adapter the quick disconnect which is there and then the filter and then the unit here no battery no nothing but it does have the three nozzles so uh, i wouldn't trade in my rinseless method the gary dean wash method um, whether you're doing traditional or rinseless i wouldn't trade it in to use this thing over a regular pressure washer um, if you're in a pinch it's awesome but if you need to just hose something down it's great it works great for that and i feel like it's going to be a real game changer for wheels that are really heavily caked on with brake dust so anyway thanks so much for watching guys i appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble i hope you guys like the video and the review i try to only show you guys stuff that matters instead of being long-winded and all of that in this video uh so i got the car washed and we used five and a half gallons of water which was pretty cool um but that's it uh, i would not do this unless you have deionized water or you're out of the sun because you're going to leave water spots everywhere and they're going to be difficult to get off if the sun bakes them on deionized water however is mineral free so you're you can let it dry in the sun you won't get any water spots and it's pretty awesome so anyway thank you guys for watching Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. And I do tool reviews and that kind of thing for you guys on, uh, on YouTube so that if I can help you, again, with your detailing endeavors, this is how I do it. So uh, let me know if you need me. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and have a great day, guys.